Hi folks, the skincare industry has convinced you that peptides are the next miracle ingredient. I need to tell you the truth, and you're not going to like it. Brands are charging $100 or more for peptide serums, promising Botox-like results, instant firming, and wrinkle erasure. They're throwing around terms like signal peptides and neuropeptides like they're magic words, unfortunately. And we're buying it. The peptide skincare market is worth billions. Here's what they're not telling you. Peptides are real. They do work. But there's a massive catch. Your skin's barrier is designed to keep things out. Peptides are relatively large molecules. Most can't penetrate deep enough to actually signal your cells to produce more collagen. The peptides that do work, they need to be specifically engineered to penetrate. We're talking about maybe five to 10 peptides with actual clinical evidence. And most products, they're using peptides that just sit on your skin's surface. So are peptides overhyped? Yes. Are they underrated? Also yes. Here's why. The cheap peptide serum with 47 different peptides at low concentrations? Marketing waste. But research-backed peptides like Matrixyl, GHKCU, or Argireline at the right percentages? They actually have clinical studies showing collagen stimulation and wrinkle reduction. The problem is brands are using the word peptides like it's one ingredient when really it's hundreds of different molecules with completely different effects. Take this Paula's Choice Pro Collagen Booster that I currently use. It has six research-backed peptides, including Matrixyl, Syncol, and other peptides that actually boost hyaluronic acid synthesis. Real concentrations, real science.